Yo guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to yet another video and in today's video we have the most beautiful key probably in my garage, the Honda key with like some Japanese stuff on it it also says bike house not really sure if you can tell that but look at that after months and months and thousands of euros it is finally here my brand spanking new Honda CT125 Trail Cup, Hunter Cup yeah a lot of people give it a different name the posty bike it is brand spanking new I only took it out for a small ride yesterday and yeah it only has done like 10 kilometers yesterday because I took it to a friend's house I couldn't really just leave it over here so it, 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 it still smells new you know but I wanted to take you guys on like a first decent drive with it and I actually wanted to take you guys with me now as you can tell it actually has a big ass snorkel so I can take it into the water up till about this part not gonna do that today because look how shiny it is it smells new now without further ado we are just gonna hop on and we're gonna get going here we go here we go <laughs> and just like that oh it actually hurt my back oh the suspension is like really hard this is not very soft anyway welcome back to the channel welcome back to yet another video and today's video of course we are riding my brand spanking new beloved it's not brand spanking new it has like it's it's already done like 15 kilometers i couldn't really resist woods are for later anyway oh man this is this is some hard ass suspension this is like a freaking race bike anyway brand new imported from japan honda ct 125 hunter cup trail cup whatever you guys want to call it i absolutely love it absolutely love it so as you guys know i am a pretty big honda fan <laughs> uh, not gonna floor it too hard I think its top speed is about like 75 ish 80 kilometers an hour but of course don't really want to do that just yet just wanna ride it in and yeah you know I'm, I'm pretty careful with my brand new motorcycles mm, the Jimny maybe it's a Jimny I took it a little bit too far first kind of 100 kilometers but I mean look at this thing first thing I can already say these grips are like hurting my hand even with gloves on like these are just like freaking razor blade grips the first thing <laughs> this thing is hilarious and also the gear shifting is an absolute mindfuck I will get back to that in a, in a couple seconds but like these grips with my bare hands just holding on to them is that it's just painful not really sure what that's all about but that's like it, not really like that I gotta change that in the future now I already ordered a ton of parts for this machine but yeah we gotta get some other things done first now these buttons are this is absolutely incredible Honda buttons <laughs> these buttons are like freaking so oh nobody behind me these buttons are like freaking solid they could they feel like they could go on for like many many freaking years like many years I forgot to put on the mirrors don't really need mirrors anyway where I'm going with this thing but <laughs> <laughs> just just doing speed bumps with the thing is absolutely hilarious <laughs> like I said this is an absolute blast to ride I feel like like some kind of Japanese dude I even feel like speaking Japanese Konnichiwa Chi Chi Miao I gotta say I'm wearing my Honda sweater the weather is absolutely immaculate I learned that word yesterday immaculate and now when I have to stop I have to go back into the gear so I have to put my heel against it because the gear shifting is actually is that cops no not really want to see any cops because the gear shifting is actually um down so uh on a normal motorcycle uh, as far as i know on the european motorcycles it's like one gear down and three or four gears up with this one it's just four gears down and if you stop and you're in fourth gear so you're all the way down and you're in fourth gear and you shift it again down once more no that is not fifth gear it goes back to neutral it just goes back to neutral so you can just keep on going down something like that it's a complete mindfuck my brain at, at first was like stalling it and starting it up in fourth gear and whatnot just because my brain is used to like one down and three or four up oh yeah it's kind of weird but this thing is is the suspension is kind of hard it's like a bug inside my helmet no no wait wait a second no do not get inside my helmet no okay that bug was on the inside of my helmet that's that's not a good thing I'm also not really sure if you can actually downshift uh, when going to a stoplight or something when when coming to a stop because if I go down it actually does like the duh it, it holds back really hard not really sure if I'm damaging the clutch with that but 
this thing is just such a joy to ride I mean I not even pimped it out I didn't even pimp it out just yet uh, I have a lot more stuff that needs to come on like uh, some rougher, rougher wheels uh, European uh, size wheels uh, some knobby tires on it some crash protection and stuff like that maybe get some 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 other stuff off now I did a lot of research on this Honda CT125 um, I did a lot of research but still for some reason I totally forgot the horsepower I didn't even look it up it's not a lot it's not a lot of horsepower but the sound it makes the smooth the smoothness with how it rides this is like and this thing is like built freaking solid the rear rack the rack in the back <laughs> the rack in the back the rack in the back is like pure freaking metal I will stop in a second and I will actually show you guys the rack ah, that's that little bug that was inside my helmet little beetle get out of here yeah get out of here but I mean look at this view look at this machine how like black wheels you guys actually told me to get a green one I'm a Honda guy and I'm like well I'm also a KTM guy I do not have a particular brand that I'm a favorite of as for the 125 and the 110 cc's I'm a Honda guy I mean the Honda Dax and the Gorillas and the monkeys and of course the CT125 absolutely love this thing but we got some LED lighting in the front we got this little white Japanese stripe over there and everything on this bike is like freaking Japanese like Japanese this is how you need to shift completely mindfucked by that not gonna lie uh, some more Japanese over there and this little winglet this little thing is like absolutely beautiful let that sink in look let that sink in how beautiful this is <sighs> so yeah uh, we got some crash protection over here now this is not really the biggest I got some bigger crash protections ready for that I got some bags got a fuel can over there I got uh, protection for the light in the front got protection for the light in the back got, got like a ton of protection uh, to take this thing uh, off-road really badly but I mean this is what I was saying about the rack in the back look at this this is like oh we got some dirt already over here so I have to clean it this is like pure metal and this bike this is not a light scooter I think it's like even a hundred a hundred ish kilograms or something so this thing is just so <laughs> like even the brackets even the brackets for the front light are like like freaking ass metal this thing is like built for for going to war or something I don't know but uh, I love it so much so yeah of course we do not have a clutch you guys might have seen that we do not have a clutch we have like this rear weird ass gear thingy so we got down it's like uh, first second it's like first second third fourth and then if you stop you can just click on through and it go back into neutral and then the gears jump back and you can just start going back again now shifting back is done by heel or with your foot going up yeah I know it's kind of weird we got some more Japanese over there and by far of course my favorite part of this bike is like the huge snorkel so this huge uh, uh, I'm attracting some I'm attracting some guests okay so yeah we got this huge snorkel over here which is absolutely my favorite and then another fun part we got a little toolbox it says Honda toolbox and the toolbox needs to be opened with a little uh, hex screw and at first I was like wait we have a toolbox but I cannot get it open because I need a hex screw uh, wrench <laughs> I found out that if we put the key right over here below the snorkel and we open the seat and we open the seat okay like that there's a little wrench in here can you guys see that this little wrench you can actually take it out not really with the gloves it turns out but with this little wrench you can actually open the toolbox now in the next video we're going to go uh, in a full review on this uh, little motorcycle motorcycle thingy and i'm actually going to open a japanese toolbox maybe some uh, new covid stuff falls out no that was china that was china so we got the gasoline we got the little wrench that's about it cannot forget it can't forget about the key goes in there and then we get I'm attracting like more and more cows over here what's going on we also, we also got a kickstart look at that oh yeah oh yeah we got to kickstart it sometime sometime we actually need to kickstart it now the only thing that really bothers me is like the silver exhaust would have been so much cooler if they actually just powder coated this black I mean there's like a lot of black parts on it I have no idea why they made why they actually made this like silverish but yeah anyway oh, look at that beautiful thing isn't it <laughs> now I know I know it has been really fun but we gotta keep on going can't really now another fun fact is that I really don't know how to get on this thing on a manly way do I have to do it like that 
I even have to lift up my leg pretty high to get over the center part, which is not that bad, of course. It's not like a big ass Buffalo Adventure motorcycle. But also, when kicking your foot, you have to kick it like freaking Jean Claude Van Damme Hoi-ya! over this, this big. This is like. <laughs> I'm not really sure how many kilograms that can take, but that is like really heavy iron anyway you can kick it over like that and then we are on now of course i'm going to show you guys a little bit of a sound clip so we turn that on oh yeah ah oh, look at how beautiful 22 kilometers right now this thing is adding up really fast full of fuel zero kilometers you do not get a lot of select trip 20 kilometers trip b 20 kilometers total 22 kilometers yeah you don't you don't really have a lot of options right here anyway we're going to start this little puppy up kill switch and oh this is oh th i can't really moan too hard maybe people are going to look weird at me or these guys because i'm moaning so hard but listen to that if just to start it up if you just start it up listen how smooth this thing is this is what i absolutely like about these honda engines they're just oh this this is painful i, I can't complain i can't complain about that that is absolutely painful but <laughs> now, uh, sometimes when I actually shift it back down, it actually burbles like pops and bangs kind of style. Uh, my ABS is like... Why is my ABS light on? Uh, maybe I nuked something, not really sure. Anyway, without further ado, back we are. Second gear going down, third gear going down. Now, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure when it actually does that and if you can hear. But if I go back now... No, it doesn't do that. When does it burble? I can't remember. So sometimes when I do something, it actually does like it's like pops and bangs on a Volkswagen Golf. I hear shots. Okay, ma'am, calm down. What kind of shots? But yeah, we're gonna four gear. Oh, this is just. I mean, the the seating position is absolutely. It's just like a, a sitting up straight position. There's absolutely no uh, pressure on my wrist or something. And I mean, just riding this thing. Just riding this thing through the farmers' roads and farmers' towns. This day, ah, oh. wait, gonna go down. Maybe it burbles now. No, I have no idea why it burbled last week, but I've got no idea. Anyway, and when it comes to grip, I mean, there are not a lot of motorcycles or these 125ccs that I actually trust right away just to floor it and, and take some speedy corners. Uh, <laughs> gotta be careful here. Uh, speedy corners might be. That's a badass tractor, dude. Uh, I have to pick up my tractor in a second as well. That is right. I bought a Husqvarna tractor. Now, there are not a lot of motorcycles that are actually... There's like a lot of beetles just hitting my leg and my face. Like a lot of beetles. What's going on here? But like I said, there's not a lot of motorcycles that I actually trust when it comes to grip and suspension and, and tire choice. I'm pretty sure that this is not like a Michelin that's actually on here. I have actually have no idea what tire that's on here. Maybe I, maybe I just have to stop for a second. Hello? Maybe I just have to stop for a second and... I don't really want to do top speed, but I think we're doing like 75 kilometers an hour. Yeah, 77. Uh, just, just let it go a little bit higher. 80, 80 kilometers an hour, 82, 80, 83. Yeah, it's probably going to be like 84-ish, 85 kilometers an hour. Let's do a jump. At <laughs> Let's do a jump at 70. No problem. Oh yeah, the tires, the tires, the tires. Just for you guys, I'm going to check the tires because I actually also want to know what the hell these tires are. Um, so this is an... actually no brand on it. This is an IRC IRC GP5. Tires don't really feel that bad. It's also totally not a fast motorcycle. But, oh man, look. I mean, look at it again. Oh, I love this thing. I love this thing already. Can't really wait to take it on bigger adventures. Anyway, can we really it? Now the question remains, can we actually really it? I'm gonna try that on the road. Can we actually really it? Oh, this is gonna, maybe if I stand up. Oh, no, this is not. Oh, 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 Smokey's got this. You know, you know, we gotta, if I can, I will. No, no. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Full speed. Let's go. Not too high in the RPMs because you know, brand new engine. 50 kilometers an hour. 60 kilometers an hour. Four gear. That's that's. There's no more gears. It's like that's the end of it. 
speed bump at 70. <laughs> oh, I love it. Just how it rides and how it feels. Besides hurting my head like a... I have to say price of this thing wasn't uh, pretty cheap. I paid like six and a half uh, grand for it, 6,500 euros, just to get it here and customs and, and whatnot. But I mean, uh, the dealer, Forsberg Barn, uh, he also had to make some money, of course, for uh, arranging me the motorcycle. No idea how many, how much they actually make on it, but uh, I have seen some, some more in England for going like five and a half or something, used ones. So I'm guessing six and a half is not a bad price. For the motorcycle being, it's like, double the money that it actually cost in Japan or, or might cost in America because I do have seen that they actually export them to America now not really sure how many they expo actually export it to America might be not that much might be a lot I've got no idea uh, but ordering one <laughs> but ordering one from America yeah that was probably going to be even more expensive and hard to get because they're actually hard to get in America as far as I've been told I'm not really sure about that let me know if you're from America can you actually just go to your uh, local Honda store and be like I want a Honda CT125 Trail Cup? Can you actually do it like that? I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments. If you're from America, can you actually just buy this in the store? Uh, or are they also very limited and not a lot of, not a lot of uh, numbers uh, in your country? I'm not really sure. But anyway, now I really hope you guys... I know <laughs> you can't really stay on your seat. The suspension is too hard or you will just get... You will just be flying. Now, let me know in the comments what you guys think about my brand spanking new Honda uh, CT. Oh, wait, wait, I have to gear up. Honda CT. Oh, I was in third gear. Let me know what you guys think of it. What should I do with it? I'm thinking about riding a Tet route with it. Maybe the Tet Netherlands. That's like 1200 kilometers. I do some longer touring with it. But first, of course, uh, paperwork, registering, uh, all that crap. It's gonna be a lot of hullabalooza. Anyway. Thank you guys for joining me again in this little small adventure, just running it in. Brand new spanking bike, just had to take you guys on this little ride with this beautiful weather over here. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, drive safe. Thank you for watching, and if you want to watch more videos, click over here to watch my favorite video, or the last one over there. And if you want to subscribe, click right. Yeah, sorry about that.